All right, here we go. We're gonna do another GeoGo draw. Uh, today we're gonna do J, letter J. Make a capital J and a lowercase J. All right, J for Jack in the Box. A Jack in the Box is an old fashioned toy. It's a box with a handle on the side and it you crank the handle and boing, out the top came uh, a character, like a clown or something. So we need a box. Let's do a three-dimensional box. Three-dimensional box. So right in the middle of the page. So right here is going to be the top of the box. The box is going to be like a diamond. almost looks like a square that's standing on one of its corners. And then, right below it, I need to make the exact same shape a second time. Okay. Not bad, Mr. Hargrove. Not bad. Now here's the trick to make it look like it's a solid box connect the two outside corners with a straight line. Connect the two outside corners with a straight line. Connect the front two. It looks like the front to me. The front two corners. Now this looks like the top of a box. This looks like the side of the box, but I can see inside of it. I don't want to see inside of it. Let's erase that. Very nice. And erase this. I don't want to see inside of there. So, let's make it real dark so everybody can see it really good. I started with kind of a diamond shape or think of it like a square that's turned and standing on its point. And then I drew another one. And I erased two parts. I remember erasing those. And I connected the outside two points. And I connected the outside two points. And I drew that line down the center. Now that's a beautiful box, but I don't have the character jumping out from the middle. So where should I put the character's head? Maybe right here, put the character's head right there. Um, these guys, they had like um, a cone hat. We all know what a cone looks like cone hat with a little ball at the end. Oh, that almost looks like a head already, doesn't it? Well, it's not big enough to be a head though, is it? It's a great size for a hat though. Okay, let's make the head a little bit bigger. And I don't want it to be too scary. So, great big smiley face. Cute little nose. Finish off those eyes. And some hair. Okay, right now it looks like a box and a fun clown head floating up in the air. We need to connect them with a spring because that's how the jack-in-the-box works. It's like a spring. Now how do I make a spring? I go around and around and around and around all the way until you get inside the box. Let's try. Around and around and around and around until 
can't see it anymore. I'm all inside the box. Let's make it really dark so everybody can see it really good. Watch again. Around and around. I'm loop to looping. Around, around, and around. I stop when I hit the box. That looks like a spring. Beautiful. Before I color my head, which might be the last thing I do, I need the part that would flip up. That's called the top of the box. I need the top of the box that flipped up. I know that the top of the box is this wide. I know that it would be the same shape as this. So if it flipped up, it would have to go straight up, straight up. And it should be this big, all that big. Good, that looks really good. I just connect these two. That square looks like it would fit right here. It looks like it flipped up. And I'm gonna put two cylinders. These are small, I'll make them darker. Two cylinders, those are the hinges. You can tell that it flipped up. All right, make it dark, Mr. Hargrove, so everybody can see it on their computer. I make this box, this square, look like it came right off the top. I'm gonna switch colors for my hinges, maybe gray. Gray looks like metal, doesn't it? Circle on the end. Circle on the end. That's how we make cylinders, right? Circle on the end. All right. We can color now. We can make it beautiful. Color our face. We color the design on the side of the box. But I said that Jack in the Boxes need a little crank, a little handle that you turn and you turn and you turn. Uh oh. Forgot about that. We're gonna make a cylinder. Starts with a circle, and then two straight lines, and then pretend you're drawing a circle again. Make it dark, Mr. Hargrove, so everybody can see. Start with a circle, two straight lines. All right. And then a zig, zag, zig. It looks kind of like a letter Z and a circle. That's my crank. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna finish coloring now. Brown hair. It would be a fun hat color. Pink. Maybe a light blue ball on the hat. I don't have a light blue, but if you don't have a light color, you just press gentle. You barely touch the paper. Look at that. Turned out light. Okay. Um, I don't have my skin color. But if I press really lightly, maybe it'll look close. Ooh. I hold the crayon so far back when I press lightly, don't I? That's an advanced artist technique, maybe? And I so gently, I don't push down at all. I just let the crayon touch the paper. Just touch it. If I push down, it'll be too dark. I hope the camera can see. It looks beautiful. Inside my box, I know that it's going to be blue. Gentle. Gentle blue. I could even put a dark line right here. That looks so real. It looks like I'm inside of the box coloring right now. I 
um, a design for the outside of the box. Ooh, I don't know. What should I put? What should I put? What I'm hoping is that I can make a beautiful smiley face about that big. With two eyes and a giant smile. What do you think? Can we do it? I think we can do it. That's a good detail. This would be a good place for you to put your special detail onto the picture. Maybe you want something different on the front of your jack in the box. And as soon as I finish coloring my box, I think I'd be done. the outside of the box a different blue than the inside that's interesting I can really tell the outside of the box compared to the inside of the box now I'm not gonna color over the top of that handle because maybe I'll choose a different color like brown for the handle maybe look like a wood handle level 3 coloring needs to be all filled in smooth and the colors need to make sense let's try wood oh yeah that's a cylinder oh and I have cylinders in here too don't I um, they're not made out of wood maybe they're made out of metal if you don't have gray see I used gray if you don't have gray you can use your black but you don't push hard you barely touch the paper barely touch the paper oh that looks beautiful absolutely beautiful get a little more right there all right what do you think i think it was a lot of fun